on guys so in my last reptile room I only had one leopard gecko and one snapping turtle well this time I have 42 more reptiles which I'm going to show you and they're super super awesome um, some projects I'm super excited to be working on so let's get to it I also wanted to announce I'm going to be doing two giveaways um, a couple of my lizards had babies so I'm going to be giving away one of those babies to one of you guys and also there's another surprise giveaway that I'm going to be doing which I'll mention later all right, homie, so let's start off with this rack right here. Um, up top here I have uh, the crested geckos that you saw in my other video. Um, here is Isla right here. And she actually just laid eggs the other day. She laid two beautiful eggs. And then I have Peach over here. She's a salmon colored one. We have her right here. We have Anna. Anna's right here. And then we have Bruce, which is my new crested gecko male. Um, he's in here, I think. He likes chilling in here. He's right there. And he's been doing good. He actually bred with uh, Isla and uh, gave me those beautiful eggs. So this is their setup right here. Um, I just have a moist tide, a back hide here. Here I put their food. Um, right now I'm using the watermelon mango mix. I also mix with the breeder formula so they can lay some beautiful eggs. But this is their setup so far. Um, it's a big upgrade to what they had in my other video. Of course, I mean, they were small, small tubs. I had just gotten them. I'm thinking of upgrading this into a bioactive and then I'm also going to get Bruce. Um, I'm going to get him a separate enclosure so that he has him alone time. I'm only going to be putting them together to breed them for like maybe a couple weeks and then I'll put him back. Um, but I'm going to work on his enclosure later on as well. And next to my group of crested geckos I have another uh, sorority group. I have uh, Lily which is she was the very very first one I got and she was in that small exoterra. And then that small exoterra is what I'm going to use to put Bruce in. And then of course they have their moist hide. And let's see where the other ones are hiding. Oh, here's uh, here's Snowflake right here. She actually dropped her tail one night. And then I woke up the next day and her tail was just dropped. <laughs> there she goes right there. And then there's Nala right there. She's trying to get out. She's a very, she's a very adventurous one. She always finds a way to get out. And she's pretty cool. These are my smaller uh, females, so I keep them together. Um, all the other ones, uh, I keep them all there because they're ready to breed. I want to get them up to 40 grams. She's about 36 right now. She's about 38. And she's about 40, 42, but I still want to get her some meat on her because she did lose her tail. And so, yeah. So this is my sorority group. And then I'll be breeding these later on when they, when they grow too. Here in my rack, I also keep my um, little bags with calcium and vitamins i actually like using these bags for the mealworms because if uh if i put them in cups they don't really get dusted as well and then i have my flukers calcium herptivite and then keep my feeding tongs and my thermometer in here i actually have this covered right now because they're very 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 shy and i just got them about a week and a half ago um, these are red eye croc skinks and these are both females um, i keep this hidden like i said but um, i'll show you guys the inside so I have a I have a water dish which I turn into a cave I just put some rocks under it and I made it kind of like a hide and I have some moss in here I think I have one. Oh no she's not in there they're gonna be both over here then I also put some rocks under the water dish so that they can make that a hide too and I think they're both gonna be in here and so here's one of my females and let me find the other one and then I'll show you guys so here's the other one she was actually over here in this hide I just didn't see her because she got stuck to the to the hide so yeah there she is I'm not gonna handle these because like I said these are pretty new so I don't I know want them to get used to this area not get them stressed out but I'll show you some more and below them I have my frog which I showed you in my other video he's actually right here he's doing really really good uh, my leopard frog uh, he's been eating crickets left and right. He eats so fast whenever he eats them. And just, if you blink, you'll miss it. But he's doing really good. Um, the other tadpoles ended up dying, which is unfortunate. One actually turned into a frog, but I didn't see him in time, and he actually drowned in the fish tank, so that kind of sucks. And the other one just didn't make it. He wouldn't grow, he wouldn't grow, and all of a sudden I found him not alive, so yeah, that kind of sucks. And then right below them, I have some of my favorite animals right now. These are Abronia, Germinia, Mexican alligator lizards. And then in here, I have one of my males. 
he's actually right in here. He's pretty, pretty mean. He doesn't really like me to handle him at all. I don't know if you can see him. Let me actually move this so y'all can see him. But there he is right there. He's a really, really nice dark green. Um, these, are, these guys are awesome guys and he eats the hell out of crickets. I hand feed him sometimes and he is just crazy. He follows them until he gets them. He's a pretty crazy guy. In this other tank, I have one of my female Abronia. She might be back here. Yeah, she's right there. And she actually gave me nine babies. Right when I got her, she was gravid. And she gave me nine babies and she's also a very, very nice dark green. Um, all right, right now I have her in this setup right here. Um, it's pretty okay. I need to add more stuff. I did buy some bromeliads from BioDude, which I'm gonna be putting putting in here, make it a little more lively. But so far this is it. But I'm gonna be upgrading it soon. All right, so here in the bottom I have six more uh, red eye crocodile skinks. Um, I think they are going to be right here. And here I have. Uh, two males, two possible females and two babies. Here's one of the males right here. He has some bright, bright orange eyes. Um, some of them have red eyes, some of them have orange eyes, but once they get older, they start getting that nice, nice bright red. So that's him right there, put it back. And the babies, let me move these out of, out of the way so I can put the water back. And I think the other ones are gonna be over here. Nope. Probably gonna be over here. Yeah, so here's the other baby. And then another one of the females. And these guys I am thinking about putting into a bioactive setup. They already I have basically a bioactive setup. They have springtails and isopods in here. So it kind of takes care of itself, um, but I'm going to be separating with two males and then also with two females each. So here's the other male right there. So they're going to have uh, two females, one one female from, from the top and one female from here. And the babies I'll probably put separate. Yeah, those are little babies right there. <laughs> Pretty crazy little guys. These, are, these guys are really, really shy. The only reason I'm showing you them is because... Um, they kind of trust me a little bit now, but still I wouldn't actually what is that? Uh, I thought that was an egg, but that's just uh, it's just poo, but You guys are really really awesome and uh, Really cool guys next we have my ball python which I actually just got about three weeks ago And I didn't know but she was gravid so that's pretty crazy. She did lay seven eggs Unfortunately one was a slug so I have six good eggs that I'm incubating um, this is my first snake ever. Let me try to open this right here so you, can, you guys can see her. Well, there she is. She's just a normal. Um, she did weigh 2,800 grams. Sorry. Yeah, 2,800 grams. <laughs> Whenever I got her, and right now she weighs 1,900. So she was a pretty big girl. She is about 60 years old, 70 years old. That's what the guy told me. But she's a really, really nice snake. Uh, really, really calm. Sometimes I take her out and she likes to explore all the time, so she's pretty cool. So next to my rack, I have another female, Bronia. Um, she actually gave me seven babies as well. Um, it was crazy because I all of a sudden just looked in the tank and I see seven babies just at the top of the screen wire just hanging under the light, which is super crazy. So yeah, she's another one of my females. I have her in a large uh, screen cage, Exoterra. Some moss in the bottom and then those little dishes. I keep water and then mealworms in there. And she destroys a hell out of crickets too, so she's awesome. Um, one of my good, good feeders. And the babies, I'll show you next. So here I keep the babies. This was actually a display cage for like a reptile show. And uh, the guy that I bought an Exoterra from, he actually gave this to me for free because I didn't have a lid. So what I did is I just put it on its side, and then I made this lid out of uh, some one by twos, and then just put it on a screen wire. Um, right now I just have um, this slide on them. And I rotate it out to each um, every couple hours. I did order a two feet long tube, so I'm going to be putting that in here, which they have a 10.0 UVB. But let me show you the babies. It's a pretty simple setup, but they seem to like it. Um, here I just have a tube, one of those floating tubes uh, for like 
for like the pool or something. And then the babies are right here. Here's one. Right there. And I just have some moss. And then I have like these grass patches I found at the dollar store. These are really nice because they like to climb in there. Here's one right there trying to get away. Here he goes, little guy. And in every... There's another one right there. In every little enclosure, I keep three. So these are from um, my first female. I have three here and three here. So she had a whole little nine. And then in this one, I have three as well, which are from my second female. Um, and then in this one, I have four because she gave me seven. So and then here's the baby right there. Crawling through the, I guess the grass. Here's another one. These guys are awesome little guys. I give them dubia roaches and uh, small crickets, and they destroy them. They they like they love to hunt. They love to hunt. So these guys are pretty awesome. Here's one of the babies, and I am gonna sell some of these guys. Um, I have 16 in total, so I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get rid of. But once they start getting their color, I am gonna start selling these guys. So if you guys want some of these guys, let me know or send me an email. Um, I'll put it. I'll put my email in the description. If you guys want some one of these, let me know and I'll give you the details on that. Here in this rack, I have one of my species that I'm very, very excited about. Um, these are blue tongue skinks. Um, you can see one of the guys right here, and then one of my females right here. Um, I'll show you all of them. Here at the bottom, I have babies, which actually I got about a week ago. Here's one of the babies. These guys are still a little feisty, but they're growing pretty, pretty fast. Um, see, pretty, pretty feisty, but here's the other baby. He's actually a sibling of the one below it. Um, I got these guys from SNB Reptiles, so shout out to them for hooking me up with these. Here I have my biggest blue tongue, and he is my very, very first one as well. I got this guy from Morph Graphics um, at the Conroe Show. He is Blaze. This is my northern blue tongue skink. He's an awesome guy. He's about, about a year old now, and he's just awesome. He's super big and super, super chill. So yeah, that's Blaze right there. Super crazy guy <laughs> and above blaze I have Athena she's right here she's my female northern um, I just got her about a month ago too and she's super super chill she's about a year old as well um, she just never bred but hopefully I plan on breeding her soon we're actually it's coming up season with blaze and she's super super nice she's a hundred percent sunset so that's pretty crazy so this girl is really really awesome um, the guy I got her from got her from BHB Reptiles, so from Brian Barczyk. So I'm pretty excited to have her. She's really, really nice. Like I said, she's 100% sunset, so she has some really good, nice genes in her. But yeah. So next we have Terry, who's above Athena. And I'm not sure if it's a male or female yet. She does have a, like a male head, but more of a female body, so I'm not sure. Um, got him or her from Bay Area Exotics, so shout out to them. But he's really, really chill skink and uh <laughs> i can't i don't really know what, how, what to say because i'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy yet but i'm just gonna say she <laughs> hopefully it's a she but uh he, she loves to eat she loves to eat next up we have my girl scarlet she's an indonesian blue tongue and i named her scarlet actually my little brother named her scarlet because she has a scar on her back right there um which was from breeding but she's a really, really good girl, except she's pretty feisty, she doesn't really like to be handled or anything. And now she's in her moist box. Uh, Indonesians do require more humidity, so I have moist box for her. And she usually stays here most of the time, but she's a really, really good eater. Every time I put food, she just devours it, so she's a good girl. And above her, I keep my ball python eggs. Right now I have them at about 89, but they usually say about 80, um, 88. Like I said, there's six of them in here. And I just have them in this cheap incubator, which I made out of a Sterilite tub. And then I just have a heat pad under it and then a thermometer and I have also a thermostat on it. So it's staying pretty good, but hopefully they hatch. Um, like I said, these are my first snake eggs. Well, my first snake and snake eggs. And then at the very, very bottom, since it's a lot cooler, I have my crested gecko eggs from Isla. Um, they're right there. I just have them in a nice uh, tackle box and yeah so that's my rack i actually made this rack myself um if you guys want to know how i made it i can also let you know and make a video about it um it cost me around 100 and i want to say 150 dollars with everything so it's pretty pretty cheap if you guys want to make me one let me know and then right beside that i have my bearded dragon bubba 
Bubba is actually really, really cool. He's one of my favorites in the group. And he's just super awesome guy. Super, super chill. Um, I have some mealworms I can feed him right now. Let's see if you can get them. Come on, bro. There he goes. Super, super awesome guy. And I've had him for quite a while. He actually has a crazy background story. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about him, I'll make a video about him. But he's an awesome, awesome dude. And loves to eat super worms. <laughs> so right under Bubba, I do have another uh, two pairs of Abronia Mexican alligator lizards. And these guys I just got about two weeks ago. These guys are super, super nice. Here's the male and then here's the female. Um, right there. I am gonna make their setup a lot, lot nicer. Add bromeliads and plants and all that stuff. So this is just right now. And here I have my other pair of abronia. Here's my male, and then here's a smaller female right there. I don't know if you guys can see her, but let me bring her out to this other side. Oh, <laughs> there she is. But she's pretty, pretty awesome as well. These guys are super nice. There she goes. And to the left of Bubba, I do have my little leopard gecko, Crank. She is the one that <laughs> was super, super feisty. She's not as feisty anymore, but she sometimes still bites me. So, let's take a look at her, see how she's doing today. But yeah, there she is. She has uh, actually got a little more color in her. She was pretty, pretty, um, I guess, all white whenever I got her. She's now getting a little more yellow. She's super, super nice now. Kind of. <laughs> but yeah, that's her. Next to my leopard gecko tank, I have another Melodronia. He's actually right here basking. Super, super chill guy. Awesome greens as well. Um, I might have to rehome him just because I already have four males and I don't want that many males. So I might have to rehome him. So if you guys want one, hit me up and I'll hook you up with one. And here outside, I have a couple more blue tongues. These guys are Indonesians. And sorry, uh, actually, my other female, Scarlet. She is an Aryan Jaya. Um, these are Indonesians. Um, so I have a male right here. I think it's in his moist box right here. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. Um, these guys are really, really feisty. Um, there he goes. And um, here is my female. I think she's in here too, in the moist box. Let's see how she's doing. There she is. But yeah, these are really, really nice. I had these guys inside. Uh, but unfortunately they weren't doing so well and the guy who had them before me he kept them outside So I decided to put these guys outside. I actually got this uh, tortoise pin for free on Craigslist And I decided to put a top on it put the some mesh on it and turn it into um, a skink cage and I also had this divider so um, They wouldn't get to each other because um, the female actually broke the male's tail and then one time um, the male got over here to this side and he actually bit off a piece of the female's tail which she's regenerating right now and you can tell but you can see it's kind of regenerating but they're still doing good they're eating a lot better than what than what they were inside so that's pretty good and here's my planted tank um, I think I've added only that goldfish in here since last time and then the other two bigger goldfish I did add to my 55 gallon so this is what I have here of course, I um, have the bluegills, the goldfish, little platy, the torpedo daniels, or roseline sharks, some people call them, the guppies, I have the daniels, and the discarded tetras, what else? And the other daniel, and the bristles is somewhere in there. But yeah, this is them, and the plants are doing good, growing all over the place, <laughs> and I actually had to cut some down because they were going to growing way too big but yeah that's them and here i have spike uh, my little common snapping turtle he's grown so so much since i first got him and actually uh the bluegills that were in here with him um the bluegills i ended up taking back to the pond and then unfortunately uh spike ate the crawfish so that kind of sucks but he's grown so much and then now i have him in here just by himself he has a little hide in there still in the 10 gallon but hopefully i'll get him a tank soon because he's kind of outgrowing this one so that's him right there and below that I do have my little brother's hamster Pepe um, he's doing really really good as well I actually put him in this tub because that cage I had him in was super super tiny so I decided to give him this tub and he's doing a lot better he has a bigger wheel now 
And then I made him that little house, which he goes in there and he hides in the bedding. He has a little house back there. Water, uh, water uh, tube, I guess. <laughs> there he is. Cute little guy. Now, last but not least is my 55 gallon tank. I've actually t uh, rearranged this quite a bit. I did that log over there and then a bunch of plants. And then I have the two goldfish in there. Of course, the black convict cichlids right there. Oh yeah, and the baby convict cichlid that was with the others, she's right here. She's grown quite a lot too. Oh, and then here's a uh, here's OJ, the red devil. He's want he's wanting some food, so it's pretty cool. And the pleco, the other mill. Oh yeah, that's them right here. All right, guys. So that's it for the reptile room. Now to the giveaways. Um, so one of the giveaways I'm gonna be gonna be doing is for the abronia. I'm gonna be giving away one baby abronia, which is usually at like $150, $200 value. And I'm also gonna be giving away one of these guys. It's gonna be a large um, keypad, which are usually like $25, $30, depending on where you're getting from. But um, the giveaway is gonna be on Gleam. So for you guys to enter the giveaway, I'm gonna be leaving two links down in the description. One link is going to be for the Abronia, and the other link is going to be for the heater. So what you do is you're going to click on that link, and it's going to take you to the clean page. And then on each link, you're going to have three entries. One entry, you can win by subscribing. The other entry, you can uh, win by following my Facebook page, Life Picasso. And then the third entry, you can win by uh, following my Instagram. So basically, you're going to have three entries for the Abronia, and three entries for the heater, but you can have a total of six. I'm going to be ending the giveaway once we hit a thousand subscribers, so right now I think I'm about a 210. So if you guys want to get that Abronia, let your friends know, let them go check out my page and uh, subscribe. Overall, I think this is an awesome giveaway because Abronia are very, very rare and awesome species and they're just beautiful overall. I mean, they basically look like little baby dragons. It's really crazy. And just think you can have one of these bad boys in your reptile collection. So once you guys have entered the giveaway, go ahead and comment down below and uh, comment done so I can go ahead and check you guys off. So that's it for today. I'm going to be posting more videos from now on and also doing more giveaways, so stay tuned for that. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Later. Peace.